Peptide therapies are gaining a lot of traction in a number of different health-related fields. What is a peptide? How do they work? And are there any synergies between peptides and hyperbaric? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So I wanna start with just a very simple explanation. There are three macronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, and fat. Inside of each macronutrient, they could be broken down into various subunits. So a protein is a mix of peptides, and peptides are a string of amino acids. When you bundle amino acids together, you get a peptide. When you bundle peptides together, you get a protein. There are a number of different roles and ways that our body, our cells interact with these peptides and amino acids. One such way is that peptides are used inside of our cells to give instructions for how that cell needs to respond to a certain stimulus. The instruction typically comes from our DNA code. So DNA holds all of the instructions that all of our cells need to do and or how to respond to any variable or any situation that's possible. So when a stimulus comes into our body, into our cells, that stimulus has to reach our DNA. Our DNA has to create a response. Our body does that through a few steps. We go into the DNA code to the location where that instruction lives. We copy the instruction and then we create a peptide. That peptide, which is a very specific sequence of amino acids, has a target inside the cell. And when that peptide hits the target, the response is initiated. Now, proteins and peptides do a lot of other things inside of our body. We're not gonna go into those details. Just from the standpoint that our body creates peptides from our DNA in order to initiate cellular signaling responses. So now that we understand how peptides may act as signaling molecules inside of our cells, what are peptide therapies? Peptide therapies are basically man-made amino acid sequences that are generated into a peptide that then carry a specific instruction that may have an effect systemically or locally on certain cells and tissues. And quite honestly, from what I've read in the literature and what I've seen clinically, this could be a very powerful tool for helping patients reach very specific goals. There is not a single peptide that includes all the instructions for all the things that a person would want to reach. Peptides are very specific. And as such, you would want to make sure that whatever peptides you were using were actually going to have the effect that you were looking to achieve. So are there synergies between peptides and hyperbaric? Absolutely. However, just like there are specific peptides for specific actions, there is no peptide regimen that should just automatically be tied to hyperbaric. The same way that I would say hyperbaric has a number of different mechanisms of action, and we've done videos on certain supplements with hyperbaric or other tools with hyperbaric, the answer isn't what pairs well with hyperbaric. The answer to the question is, what is your goal? What are we trying to achieve? Which mechanisms of action of hyperbaric are we interested in? And then which peptides would pair well with those goals? We've done videos on hyperbaric mechanisms of action. So if you're interested in more detail around mechanisms of action, please check out the link in the description below and we'll put some videos there. Okay, we're gonna get right back to that information in a minute. I just wanted to pause and share a new resource that we just finished developing. If you're in practice or about to be in practice or you've been in practice, but you're trying to tighten things up and really dial in your hyperbaric practice, we put together a free ebook guide. It gives you some jumpstart tips as well as some checklists to go through to make sure that you have your policies, procedures all rolling in the right direction so that you can have a successful practice. If you're interested in that, click on the link in the description below and we'll make sure we send you to the page where you can learn more and get your free copy of our ebook. In the meantime, I can categorize hyperbaric mechanisms of action into four categories the mechanical response of the pressure, the immune response, the hyperoxygenation response, and the regenerative response. Inside the category of peptide therapies, a very specific peptide will have a very specific effect. So if we're looking to generally lower inflammation, there would be a protocol for hyperbaric that will allow for systemic reduction in inflammatory cytokines, and we would wanna utilize anti-inflammatory related peptides in concert if we want the regenerative benefits of hyperbaric, then we would create protocols around hyperbaric that stimulate the growth factors, the collagen, the fibroblast formation, the stem cell mobilization. And we would utilize peptides that are actually triggering growth factor response, growth factor release, and the healing and regeneration of cells and tissues. So the real difference between peptides and hyperbaric is this. When somebody goes into a chamber, almost all of these mechanisms of action are going to be happening over some period of time. It becomes a foundational tool 
that we're utilizing in order to have a number of different effects in their body. But it's not very specific. It's a very general and very systemic therapy. It's also one of the reasons that so many people benefit from hyperbaric because it's just this ingredient allowing the body to do whatever the body needs to do in order to heal and recover and repair. Contrast that to peptide therapy, where now these are very specific molecules with very specific intentions. And so all of a sudden, while hyperbaric on its own could reduce systemic inflammation, and this peptide might also reduce inflammation, the combination of those two, the general approach of giving the body what it needed to reduce inflammation mixed with a very specific anti-inflammatory instruction would really allow for a very targeted impact for that patient. And so I see great synergy between these two, one being a foundational tool, a foundational ingredient, stimulating a number of different processes, and then a targeted tool that is giving instructions to stimulate very specific cellular pathways, maximizing the benefit of both of these therapies. With peptide therapy, there may be stages of recovery and repair for a person. Most likely, inside of each one of those stages, hyperbaric is helping. So it allows somebody to get a consistent therapy, again, creating that foundation of healing, while we're targeting different areas over time using peptide therapies. So I love this combination, and we've utilized it in practice for years. And if you don't already utilize peptide therapy, hopefully this gave you enough information to understand it and make a decision whether or not it's a good fit for you or your practice. And if it is, please understand that there is a great deal of detail and learning that needs to go on inside the peptide world before you start doing it or offering it. The purpose of this video is just to give you an introduction into why I think it's a powerful tool and how it pairs well with hyperbaric oxygen. As always, I appreciate your time and attention, and I'll see you on the next video. So whether you're a chiropractor, or a naturopath, or an acupuncturist, or a DO, or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now, it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way, and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com, and uh, right across the, the top, you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that, and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.